plus 1.3, customize your main screen. The first instruction asks us to set the following my favorite shortcuts. To set our favorite, my favorite shortcut, first you have to go to the my favorite here and click on the column there. After you click on the tab here, you, you can see there's an empty space under my favorite. The purpose of we do my favorite here to choose any entry that we frequently use for every month. For example, we always need to issue AR invoice. So when we do shortcut for AR invoice, we after after we do shortcut, we no need to do manual way. So we just straight away use the shortcut button. So to create a shortcut for the transaction under my favorite here, what you need to do is you need to click on the right click of your mouse and then you can see there's an organize icons. So click on the organize icons and you can choose all the entry that you want to make as shortcuts. So for all the entry, you may refer to your cost book on the transaction part. You can start to choose starting from the cash receipt. After you choose, you just tick and after that cash payment, journal entry, bank reconciliation, debtor, AR invoice, AR credit note, AR payment, creditor, AP invoice, AP credit note, and the last one will be AP payment. After you tick all the transactions that you're going to use frequently, the next step is to click on the add button in the middle here to transfer all the entry that you have choose to the right box. Alright, so after that to save, you can just click OK button. After you have saved, all the entry will appear in under my favorite. And the difference between the shortcuts here is, for example, I give example of AR invoice. The purpose of shortcut is if you point your mouse at the picture here, the icon here, you can see there's a one box. And if you point your mouse at the wordings here, it will appear another box. The difference between these two is, after this, whenever you want to create a new entry of AR invoice, you may just direct click on the icon. For example, when I click on the icon, it will go to the new entry of the AR invoice. But if let's say after you have created, you want to check back your listing of AR invoice, where you need to click, you just need to click on the wordings. So when you click on the wordings, it will appear all the listing of your AR invoice that you have created. For now, it's still empty as we don't create any invoices yet. So the function is applicable for all, meaning when you want to create a new entry, you must click on the icon. Doesn't matter it's an invoice or a payment or credit note. New entry, you click on the icon to see, to view your uh, listing, you click on the wordings here. That is the difference of the shortcuts. Now I want you to do for the report column. So under reports here, on your right side, you can see it's empty. So you right click as usual, organize report, and then you choose report that you want to use, ledger, trial balance, profit and loss statement, balance sheet statement, 
and then debtor the last one is debtor statement after you choose everything you click on the add button and you click ok so basically that is our shortcuts under my favorite for the transaction here and also for the report